welcome to the session. In this session, we will learn about complex numbers and argon plane. Now we know about real numbers where all the equations of first degree can be solved over the real number system. For example, 2x plus 3 is equal to 0 implies x is equal to minus 3 by 2 and similarly x squared is equal to 4 implies x is equal to plus minus 2. So these equations can be solved over the real number system. But we cannot solve x squared plus 5 is equal to 0 as this implies x squared is equal to minus 5. So we cannot solve this equation over the set of real numbers as there is no real number whose square is a negative real number. Therefore, the symbol iota is introduced for the square root of minus 1. And iota square is equal to minus 1. And this symbol is also used as imaginary unit. So we have iota is equal to square root of minus 1. Now let us discuss the integral powers of iota. Now, iota raised to power 0 is equal to 1. iota squared is equal to minus 1. And iota cubed is equal to iota squared into iota, which is equal to, now iota squared is minus 1. So minus 1 into iota will be equal to minus iota. And Iota raised to power 4 is equal to iota square into iota square which is equal to minus 1 into minus 1 which is equal to 1. Now let n be a positive integer such that n is greater than 4. Now on dividing n by 4 let n be the quotient and r be the remainder. So we have Dividend, which is n, is equal to the divisor, which is 4, into quotient, which is n, plus remainder. Where 0 is less than equal to r is less than 4. Now, iota raised to power n will be equal to iota raised to power now m is equal to 4m plus r, so it will be equal to iota raised to power 4m plus r, which is equal to iota raised to power 4m into iota raised to power r, which is equal to iota raised to power 4, whole raised to power m into iota raised to power r. Now we know that iota raised to power 4 is equal to 1, and 1 raised to power m will be equal to 1. So this is equal to iota raised to power r. Therefore, the value of iota raised to power n for n is greater than 4 is equal to iota raised to power r, where r is the remainder on dividing n by 4. 
Now let us discuss the negative integral powers of iota. Now iota raised to power minus 1 can be written as iota raised to power 4 into iota raised to power minus 1 as iota raised to power 4 is 1. Now this is equal to iota raised to power 4 minus 1 that is iota raised to power 3 and iota raised to power 3 is equal to minus iota. This we have proved earlier. And iota raised to power minus 2 can be written as iota raised to power 4 into iota raised to power minus 2 which is equal to iota raised to power 4 minus 2 which is equal to iota square and iota square is equal to minus 1. Now iota raised to power minus 3 can be written as iota raised to power 4 into iota raised to power minus 3 which is equal to iota raised to power 4 minus 3 which is equal to iota raised to power 1 which is equal to iota. And iota raised to power minus 4 is equal to 1 over iota raised to power 4. Now iota raised to power 4 is 1. So this is equal to 1 by 1 which is equal to 1. Now for n is greater than 4, iota raised to power minus n will be equal to 1 over iota raised to power n. Now iota raised to power n is equal to iota raised to power r. So this is equal to 1 over iota raised to power r where r is the remainder when n is divided by 4. So here we can observe that iota raised to power n power is equal to 1 out of the 4 values that is minus iota, minus 1, iota, and 1. And now let us discuss complex numbers. Now we have already discussed the concept of iota. Now any number of the form a plus b iota where a and b are real numbers and iota is equal to square root of minus 1 is known as complex number and is denoted by the letter Z. Now in this complex number A is called the real part of the complex number B is called the imaginary part of the complex number that is, A can be written as the real part of Z and B can be written as the imaginary part of Z where Z is equal to A plus B iota. Now let us see one example. Z is equal to 5 plus 6 iota that is Z is a complex number which is equal to 5 plus 6 iota then it is of the form A plus B iota so the real part of the complex number Z will be equal to A which is 5 and the imaginary part of the complex number Z is equal to B which is 6. Now let us discuss some points about complex numbers. Now every real number A can be expressed as A plus 0 iota. Therefore we can say that every real number belongs to the set of complex numbers. 
in a photo complex number z which is equal to a plus b iota if b is equal to 0 then the complex number z will be equal to a and such a number is called purely real number. And for a complex number z, which is equal to a plus b iota, if a is equal to 0, then the complex number z will be equal to b iota and such a number is called purely imaginary number. Thus, a complex number z is a real number if and only if the imaginary part of z is equal to 0 and the complex number z is a purely imaginary number if the real part of z which is a is equal to 0. And also the complex number z is equal to 0 if and only if the real part of the complex number is equal to 0 and the imaginary part of the complex number is equal to 0. Now let us discuss the equality of complex numbers. Now the complex numbers Z1 is equal to A plus B iota and Z2 is equal to C plus B iota are equal if A is equal to C that is the real part of Z1 is equal to the real part of Z2 and B is equal to D that is the imaginary part of Z1 is equal to the imaginary part of Z2. Now let us discuss an example. Now let the complex number Z1 is equal to 5 plus Y iota and the complex number Z2 is equal to X plus 6 iota are equal. Then the real part of the complex number Z1 is equal to the real part of the complex number Z2 that is 5 is equal to X and the imaginary part of the complex number Z1 is equal to the imaginary part of the complex number Z2 that is Y is equal to 6. Now let us discuss the definition of complex numbers in terms of ordered pairs. Now any complex number Z which is equal to A plus B iota can be denoted by the order pair A B where the first component of the order pair is the real part of the complex number and the second component of the order pair is the real coefficient of iota. Now let us see one example. Now the complex number Z1 is equal to 3 minus 2 iota can be denoted by the ordered pair 3 minus 2. That is, the ordered pair 3 minus 2 is associated with the complex number 3 minus 2 iota. So, any ordered pair of real numbers is a way of naming a complex number.
Now let us discuss the Argon plane. Now every complex number x plus y iota can be represented geometrically as a unique point x y in the x o y plane with x coordinate representing its real part and y coordinate representing its imaginary part. Now we know that the complex number can be represented by the order pair that is it can be represented by the unique point in the x o y plane now the point x0 on the x axis represents the complex number x plus 0 iota that is the real number x as the imaginary part of the complex number is 0. So this complex number is represented as a point on the axis. As such, the x-axis is called the real axis. And the point 0y on the y-axis represents the complex number 0 plus y iota, that is the imaginary number y iota. Therefore, the y-axis is called the imaginary axis. And all the imaginary numbers are represented as points on this axis. Now here, the positive real numbers are represented by the points on the positive x-axis and the negative real numbers are represented by the points on the negative x-axis and the real number 0 is represented by the origin O and the imaginary numbers with the imaginary part of the complex number greater than 0 are represented on the positive y-axis, that is, they are represented by the points on the positive y-axis and the imaginary numbers with the imaginary part of the complex number less than 0 are represented by the points on the negative y-axis. Therefore, the plane on which the complex numbers are represented as points is called the complex plane or the Argon plane. Now let us discuss one example in which we will represent this complex number on the argon plane, now the complex number 3 minus 2 iota is represented by the point 3 minus 2. So let us plot this point. So this is the point 3 minus 2. Therefore, this point is representing the complex number 3 minus 2 iota on the argon plane. 
So in this session we have learned about complex numbers and argon plane. So this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.